the rights and duties of cyclists as demonstrated by league certified instructors. Cyclists have the same rights and duties as motorists in all 50 U.S. states. When cyclists are slower than other drivers, they have to use the right-hand lane for traffic. Here, Brian is driving in the center of the narrow lane, or controlling the lane, to prevent motorists from passing him within the same lane. Instead, they have to make lane changes to pass or wait behind. This behavior also allows Brian to avoid being hit by suddenly opening car doors, or motorists pulling into or out of driveways, or motorists making right turns across his path. When cyclists are traveling slower and the lanes are very wide, then they can share the lane by allowing motorists to pass inside the lane on the left-hand side. They must also be careful not to ride too far to the right and avoid road hazards like the gutter seam or debris. However, as cyclists approach the intersection, they need to move over to the through lane because frequently a right turn only lane will develop at the right side of the road. Here you see Dan and Brian merging over to control the through lane position to proceed safely through the intersection while allowing right turning motorists to pass on the right and make their right turns. Next, league certified instructor Chris Quint shows you how to cross a freeway ramp. You'll notice that road construction artificially narrows the lane and Chris controls it to prevent too close in lane passing. He stays at the left side of the lane in the through position to pass the freeway ramp while allowing motorists to move to the right and enter the freeway. This situation creates divergent movements where the paths of the cyclists and the motorists diverge instead of crossing and this keeps Chris safe as he proceeds past the freeway. Now Brian D'Souza demonstrates proper technique for making a lane change by signaling, scanning, and merging into the lane. He then proceeds straight through to a left turn only lane, as cyclists are required to use left turn lanes as are motorists. Notice that Brian keeps lane control to prevent anyone from passing him as he approaches the left turn pocket. He signals, checks for traffic one more time, and then enters the left turn only lane. Next, we'll switch to the front view, where we can see Dan waiting to make the left turn. Dan has to yield to oncoming traffic. In other words, he has to wait for oncoming traffic to clear before he can make his left turn. You'll notice that a motorist is waiting to back into a parallel parking space, and another truck passed in order to proceed through the intersection. Now that the traffic's clear, they can continue their maneuver. When there is no left turn only lane, cyclists must make their left turn from the leftmost lane on their side of the road. Here you see Dan and Brian signaling and yielding, waiting for traffic to clear before they can proceed. There's one more van that needs to make its right turn, and they follow, safely completing their left turn. Cyclists must also obey traffic controls, which means stopping for red lights and stop signs. Here you see Dan arriving at the intersection second, putting his foot down to let the left turning motorist go first. He proceeds second, and then the white truck third. Cyclists are also obligated to use right turn only lanes, as with motorists. Here, Dan has to wait for intersection traffic to clear. This includes a left turning motorist and a pedestrian in the crosswalk before he can safely proceed to make his right turn. Brian is using a highly visible lane control position to ensure that following motorists can see him and understand that he wishes to make a left turn. This lane position gives him good visibility during the daytime and the ability to prevent motorists from passing him too closely as he enters the turn pocket. When riding at night, cyclists must use lights in order to keep the same daytime lane position highly visible to overtaking or following motorists. As you can see here, Dan demonstrates that motorists treat him the same way at night as they treated Brian during the daytime because he's using lights. Well, that's all for now. Just remember that cyclists fare best when they act and are treated as drivers of vehicles.